for someone who doesn't know about open handed, hasn't really played that too much, what would be the benefits of learning that style? Well, first of all, I think uh, playing open handed, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not religious about that. I'm, I'm not saying this is right and this is wrong. So that I think is, 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 is an important mindset for, for that complete discussion we are having right now. Sure. Um, uh, I think uh, not crossing your hands, but opening your hands when you play an instrument that calls for, for action of, or, or independent action of four different limbs just makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, so I'm, why would you do that if, right. if you would just for this? For this battleship in front of you. Yeah, uh, that, that's just one thing. And are you talking about, for for example, playing the hi hat with your left hand and then the snare with your right, or maybe even a hi hat in the middle or on the right hand side of your kit if you're right-handed, and then playing the snare on the two and four with your left? It, it's it's a it's a mixture of all kinds of things. So if you look at my drum set. It's pretty much, uh, I'm, I'm having, and, and, and that was not the starting idea to, to go with a symmetrical setup, yeah. but uh, I have like snares on both sides of my kit, like one in the center, two on the side. I have two right cymbals, I have two hi-hat, I have a floor tom left, a floor tom right, a crash cymbal left, crash cymbal right, cowbell left, cowbell right, so so it's, it's pretty much the important stuff on happening on, on both sides of my kit, which gives me much more freedom to express what I, Think I want to play. Yeah. I love that concept too and I, I think it's, it's certainly true from my own experience because I'm a drummer as well and when I'm crossing hands it, there's something happens in the brain because I didn't start till later but when I am open-handed with a hi-hat either in the middle or the left even on the ride opening up I just feel my you know way more independent. Absolutely and, and there's also some sort of uh, interesting parallel if you for instance, if, if you look at people, how they play brushes, hmm. now, now you, 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 you might find that uh, distracting, how about brushes, but, but if you look at playing brushes, no matter if, if people do that match or traditional grip, they usually make their swishing or circular motions with the left hand, hmm. which is interesting because, I mean, playing the brushes is, is a very personal thing. Yeah. Put 10 drummers in, in a line and, and 10 of them have a, have a different or maybe a completely different take to it, right. um, but still, uh, a right-handed, uh, a right-handed brush player would choose to make circular or swishing motions with the left hand, and then interacting with the right hand. And same goes for a lot of percussion stuff. Like if you if you study congas, and you have your your floating hand uh, that that could also serve as some ostinato function. Uh, with your left hand again, whereas your right hand is is doing the fancy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that says a lot about how you possibly could also organize open-ended playing on the sure. drum set. 